Okay. Now, um, now that we've got that working, it's time to put on our layers. Now, importantly, we can see there's only two wires here, and uh, one is for each layer. So, um, now I haven't mentioned which one is for which layer, but if we have a look at uh, one I did earlier, <laughs> we'll see that the one closest to the center row is the center layer, and the one to the outer side is the outer layer, and this is how... Um, uh, LED cube works is that we switch a layer on and off individually from each other um, and uh, yeah so that's what we need to do so importantly we're going to put our middle layer with nine uh, vertical wires in close to each of the LEDs and we're going to use the middle um, common so we're just going to get that and we're going to bend it down toward the hole where it's going to go now this one um, is a little bit of a problem in that uh, it does need to be soldered um, we actually don't need it coming down toward the circuit board at all so we can bend that back on itself okay so bend that back on itself like so um, we don't really want to um, have that big long lead sticking through though, so we can actually trim that, just keeping the solder in place, okay? Got everything we need except this outer one as well. Also needs to be bent back on itself. Like so... Trim that bit in there, okay. So they look fine. That's better. Okay, so they're going in nicely there. So that's fine. I'll bring them up a little bit now. I want this one to go in the one closest to the hole there, and this one to come in over here. This one as well okay so we've got those at the front going in they're all going in that's good um, we'll do this one in the middle make sure that's going in do this one over here that's going in okay so we've got six going in now and it's just a matter of getting these outside ones try not to scratch the surface okay so, uh, so they're all down and through the PCB. And what we want to do is we want to make sure all nine of those are sticking through, but also sitting up as high as they can. So uh, we're going to turn this over and just check that. Now, they all should have the same length um, anode sticking through so what we're going to do is just check the anode is sitting through about a millimeter and we'll just try and spread that solder across you might have to put some more on there okay so a bit more solder on there and just making sure that that's sitting through very good do that to each of these if it's sitting up more than a millimeter pull it down if it's not sitting up quite a millimeter push it up and as long as we get them all the right length here it should look quite square for us this one will be a little bit tricky in here Okay, and the last one is that layer one. There it goes. Now, when we turn it on, you should find we have both layers. There we go. 
we're getting there. Okay, one thing you might want to do at this point also is to straighten up these LEDs so that they look nice and uh, level with the ones below them. Look at it from uh, both angles. And if there's any irregularities there, then uh, try to fix those up now. Because once the next layer is on, it won't be easy. Um, in fact, I could change the height of a couple of these. Okay, which is just one of those odd things. So they may not have, not have been bent exactly the same when um, <clears throat> when I did the kink on the lead. So we we'll do it by eyesight. We'll bring up odd ones that are too high. We'll bring them back down, and ones that are too low, we'll take up. Okay, they're looking pretty good. Test it again. Very nice. Oh, we can look from above as well. Just make sure they're nice and accurately up high. That's good. Okay. So uh, the last layer, and we will have to extend one of these wires. Now I suggest um, the way we're going to align it is that we want to use this one over here to come down through our um, common uh, layer 3 hole uh, on the, the board there. I'm not sure you can see it. Um, it won't reach the whole way by itself. So we do have to extend that one and we do have to bend these two back. So we can do that now. Um, just bend those back on themselves. Um, we'll solder a couple millimetres on to the one below and uh, we'll work our way around. So let's um, do that with our first one. I'll just uh, pre-tin the top of this one and uh, we'll heat that up and we'll let it go. Okay. One. That was easy. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's hope they're all that easy. We'll put this one, pre-tin this one. Bit of a blob there, and we'll join that in by heating it up. There we go. And try to get them nice and level at this point as well. Okay, two more. So we've got the central LED. Try to get it nice and square. Sorry. Okay, and this outside one looks pretty good. Solder those in place. Make sure you don't burn yourself doing this. Come underneath this one. The back. Probably the hardest one to do is in the middle. It does need doing. There we go. And that's all the nine verticals done. Fairly square. Fairly flat, this is what we are looking for. Those columns nice and vertical. Lift this one up a little. And I think we're pretty well good to go there. Okay, so <clears throat> last step of all, before this whole 
uh, thing is working and we can move on to the enclosure is to bend this down like so toward the hole in the base and we're going to take another off cut um, you should have plenty of these little wires hanging around from the LEDs or the resistors this one the LED ones are a little bit stronger now that's just going to fall through so what I might do is uh, just put my finger behind it there and I'll try and bring those two tips together I might even pre-tin one of those um, preferably not the one I'm holding so see that just falls through so I'll pre-tin this one it's a bit of solder uh, this one I'll put through the hole and it should stand up fairly vertically when it goes through the hole, that's it. And if we can push it over on an angle, that's nice, hold it there. And because it's pre-tinned, we can get it nice and close and join those together. There we go. Okay, now assuming it's sticking through on the base. Oh, am I just sticking through there? But uh, just enough. We can get some solder on that. And because these um, pads go right through, we'll just leave it there for a couple seconds. And that should uh, wick it and um, soak in and hold that wire in place without us having to lengthen those at all. Okay, so let's turn it on and have a look at our creation. My okay. go.